Today I'm going to tell you how you can get pregnant with PCOS. You might be wondering, can you get pregnant with PCOS? And I'm going to tell you, yes, you can. I've had many patients with PCOS be able to get pregnant using natural therapies without infertility treatments. It's just a matter of correcting the underlying metabolic issues because that's what PCOS is. PCOS is a metabolic disorder. It's inflammation, it's an imbalance in your hormones, it causes your hypothalamus to get totally dysregulated, and with all the inflammation going on, your hypothalamus deems that it's really not safe for you to get pregnant. So getting your hypothalamus in balance, balancing out your female hormones as well as your adrenals makes a huge difference in your ability to get pregnant with PCOS. So let me show you how you can get pregnant with PCOS. What I want you to concentrate on is the fact that when you have PCOS, you are not making enough progesterone. That is a, a huge issue. Because you're not ovulating regularly, your corpus luteum, which is where the egg, with the little cave that's left over when the egg pops out, you don't make enough progesterone. And without that level of progesterone, you don't have regular cycles. So it is really key to try to get the ovulation going and balancing out the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis. So number one, you've got to balance out those hormones. And the key of that is actually helping your hypothalamus do its job properly. I created Genesis Gold exactly for this issue, and it works tremendously well for PCOS patients and helping them get their hormones balanced and being able to get pregnant. You need to concentrate on getting a regular menstrual cycle and starting ovulation again. And your hypothalamus will not deem it safe for you to ovulate until it starts getting the nutrition it needs in order to stay in balance. You make enough estrogen. You're just not making enough progesterone. So without that progesterone, it means you're not ovulating and we gotta get you ovulating again. So when the hypothalamus gets what it needs, what's going to happen is your entire body gets back into balance. Your adrenals get back in balance, your thyroid gets back in balance, Your insulin sensitivity gets back in balance. And that's key for you to starting your ovulation, which actually will help you make progesterone. Number two, you need to reduce inflammation. One of the key factors of this PCOS, which is metabolic syndrome, is that you have very high inflammatory markers. It's because you're insulin resistant. You cannot get sugar into the into your cells and insulin is incredibly inflammatory and those markers of inflammation really aggravate your hypothalamus it does not perceive that your body is safe and because your body isn't safe it will not allow you to reproduce so we've got to get that inflammation down one of the ways to reduce inflammation is to actually start making sure that you're getting enough healthy fats Fish oils particularly work really well to reduce inflammation. Another way to reduce inflammation is to make sure you're getting enough colorful vegetables in your diet so that you get enough antioxidants that will bring down those inflammatory markers as well. Is getting pregnant even possible with PCOS? Yes. If you're able to start ovulating, the biggest issue for a lot of women is number three, staying pregnant. Lots of women who have PCOS will get pregnant, but they will actually miscarry before they even know that they're pregnant or very early, right after they think they've, they've missed a cycle. And that's because even if they did ovulate, they still don't produce enough progesterone. So getting progesterone prescribed bioidentical transdermal from the time of ovulation until you menstruate or know that you're pregnant will actually help you to maintain the pregnancy. Using the progesterone for at least the first 14 weeks of pregnancy will help you to prevent miscarriage. If there is something wrong with the fetus, progesterone will not hold that fetus in. But if the fetus is healthy and you're not making enough progesterone, using progesterone in the early part of pregnancy will make a huge difference. And for women with PCOS, if they're still not making enough progesterone, which we measure at about day 20, 18 to 22, approximately then, we actually can measure that in the blood to see if you're making enough progesterone to maintain a pregnancy. Adding that progesterone right after ovulation will make a huge difference in you maintaining that pregnancy. So you can see it is possible to get pregnant with PCOS.